Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 9th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, and volcanoes. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, as we had another C-class solar flare projected right at us. The atop bright, fiery sunspot is the culprit for this C-class flare, and it was in an Earth-facing direction. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, still a lot of plasma lifting from our sun right now in our heliosphere. As well, the darkening coronal hole, which will be turning into an Earth-facing position now. Looking at outgoing, plasma tornadoes taking off there. No major events in the outgoing position. A couple fairly active sunspots to be viewing, though. Looking at multi-spectrum here. Looking at both the northeast and the southwest. Big plasma filaments affecting the heliosphere of our sun. And to podal positions. Looking at 171 angstroms here, you can really see the deepening coronal hole and then watch for the little spark in the middle to light up a little bit of activity in the center of that coronal hole. Interesting. Amazing sun and we know and have seen what the sun can do to us now. Even Elon Musk knows what our sun can do and I think he's going to have to really think about timing in regards to taking and launching his satellites into our atmosphere. As Elon Musk's SpaceX is feeling the pinch of that solar threat, the company expects to lose nearly a full launch's worth of Starlink internet satellites after a geomagnetic storm disrupted the Earth's atmosphere, sent about 40 of the spacecraft to an early fiery demise. Now, these storms are not uncommon, as you've been stating here with daily events worldwide, but they are expected to worsen, they're saying here. The sun started a new solar cycle in, two, in December 2019, is now ramping up. Now, having a look at the space weather event that affected these satellites, this was the solar flare that erupted back on the 30th, and we were expecting the space weather to come between the 3rd and the 4th of February. This was the large flare that took out Elon Musk's satellites. The Starlink losing 40 satellites due to this large space weather event. And you can see it here on the real-time solar data graph. Very high-density cosmic charge particles as well as the magnetic flip-flop. So those satellites were being bombarded by over... 600 kilometer per second solar winds. And right now, we're sitting at a solar X-ray flux just recently in the B range. We did have a C today. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Real-time solar wind for today, ramping up as we are expecting the solar storm of right now. 19th into the 10th. Already seeing an increase and as well, our magnetic flip. Looking at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, this is the C-class solar flare directed right at Venus and Earth. We'll be expecting that 11th into the 12th of February. So another space weather event on its way. Schumann resonance for today, a low power of 6, has been a pretty healthy resonance across the planet recently. Quality of 9.4 amplitude of six. Let's have a look at earthquakes here the last 24 hours across the planet. Just over 270 earthquakes, according to the USGS website, the last 24 hours. We're going to have a quick look around the globe here and look at the most recent 5.0 here, South Sandwich Islands. 10 kilometer depth. As well, activity coming back to South America here. Iquique, Chile, 93 kilometer depth, and Peru, 4.7. Very quiet Caribbean, and as well, Central America, too quiet in my mind. So stay aware, prepared. 
minor activity through Medford, Oklahoma, and as well northward up into Utah. 3.2 at the geysers. There was a minor swarm there last night, but it ceased. As well, Hawaii, 2.5, 2.8 to purport. Nothing major there. Alaska seeing a lot of minor activity. I'll show you on USGS in just a moment. And then we get to Japan, where Honshu, Japan, where we had that large earthquake years ago. 68 kilometer depth, 4.3, and as well a 4.2. Honshu, Japan, 4.6 there, just south in the Uzu Islands region. 5.0 just southwest there. Naha, Japan, that was yesterday. Papua New Guinea today, 5.0. Langila is around there, newly awakened volcano. And then we get to the Tonga region where we saw a lot of deep earthquakes, 519 kilometer depth today as well. 509 kilometer depth or 502 kilometer depth, 4.6. So two very deep earthquakes, Tonga region, still expecting a larger shallow earthquake to follow. 4.6 there, just northwest of Krakatoa as well. 4.4 here in Samashki, Russia, 10 kilometer depth. As well, notable today here, a 4.7 and a 4.2 in Italy. Celesito, Rio Celesito in Italy, 4.2 and a 4.7 earthquake. I'm sure many through the region felt that earthquake. I also wanted to note here the earthquakes through North American plate. Earthquakes Canada reporting an earthquake here in Alberta. That's right, Grand Prairie saw 4.2 yesterday. And then watching increased seismicity here off the coast of BC, Tofino, BC with a two three point fours, And it seems to be kind of spreading westward right now through the Juan de Fuca. Maybe something getting ready to open up. Stay aware and prepared through the Cascades and as well Alaska. This is the minor activity I was telling you about. Increased activity through Alaska. Many storms have been affecting you guys and as well heavy snowfall. Have a quick look here at the last seven days for earthquakes across the planet. I still believe that we are expecting a larger shallower earthquake to follow here. So stay aware, prepared, my friends and family across the world. It can happen anywhere, and we know this. But I do believe Central America into North America, Juan de Fuca, Cascade region is long overdue. Having a look here, Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent volcanoes getting updated, and as well satellite imagery. Looking at Nevada's the Ruiz in Colombia. Semeru, Indonesia, Senge in Ecuador, Sabancaya in Peru, in Nevada, the Chilean, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, Reventador in Ecuador, Langina, Papua New Guinea, Fuego, Guatemala, a couple landslides there, Afghanistan, as well landslide in Colombia, Krakatoa, Indonesia, Merapi, and as well Santa Maria. So that's about 12 volcanoes getting updated today. Looking at satellite imagery across the world. We do have Tropical Cyclone Dovey, who is alive over New Caledonia as a Category 1 right now, heading southward towards New Zealand. Other than that, no cyclones have popped up just yet. Quick look around the world. Satellite imagery. Long atmospheric river from South America. Let's get to the five-day forecast. Daily events worldwide and as well media worth. Starting out here, home base, Ontario, Canada, as we do have a deep freeze coming back after a little warm-up and possible rain, but most likely will be snow through Ontario here. Low pressure, Alberta Clipper, slowly moving eastward. And it looks like the transition will happen right over Ontario from rain to snow, and then high pressure ridge building in behind that. Very cold temperatures through these states. And then we've got Chinook through Alberta. It was 12 degrees Celsius in Calgary today. Kind of missed that. So yeah, warm temperatures to continue as that clipper moves eastward. And this is what's happening, folks. We've got a strong high-pressure ridge 
northern uh, Pacific Northwest of the United States, which is directing all these systems right up over top into Alaska, drawing moisture from the equator. That's why these it's so warm through Alberta right now. You got these Chinook winds, low pressure systems bringing in warm Pacific air and then heading over the BC mountain range. So yeah, watch for that to continue over the next couple of days as that high pressure ridge decides to move out, a new one moving in in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Watch for snow to move eastward through the Atlantic provinces, northern Newfoundland. Cold temperatures here, minus double digits through Wisconsin, Michigan, and as well, minus 35 up in northern Quebec. So stay warm, my French friends. Overlooking the Atlantic, still got a big system heading into the United Kingdom. And it will be a mostly rain event. Temperatures hovering well above the seasonal mark. Very warm through the United Kingdom and as well that system moving in. Colder temperatures southward here, looking at about minus 11 through parts of Ukraine. And just north of you, you still have waves of snow from the big low over Norway's. Could see some heavy snowfall through Kuwait, higher elevations. Overlooking China and Japan. Watching for a pretty intense system to head out of there. A lot of rain for the Olympics right now. Winter Olympics, not good. A lot of man-made snow for the Olympics this year. As well, noting here, pretty big system heading out of Japan this week. And it looks like that's going to track right up to the Aleutian Islands in the long range. Overlooking Malaysia, Micronesia, Indonesia. Daily evaporation rains heavy through Indonesia, eastern parts, Java. Overlooking Australia, warm high pressure ridge locked in. And then we've got tropical cyclone Dovey, who's heading out of New Caledonia southward towards New Zealand. No major weather systems heading towards the Hawaiian Islands. Not much has changed since last night's forecast. No major systems have developed or new ones in the long range forecast. Daily evaporation rains here through South America. Columbia did report quite a landslide, about eight homes being destroyed, but they're worried about more landslides in the future here. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains, South Africa, and that's about it. Very, very dry North Africa. I'm going to leave you here looking at the Southern Hemisphere versus the Northern, pointing out the major lows spinning across our planet. Much love and thank you all for watching today. This has been Mike. With your daily do, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily do. But by now, please share today. Much love. No fear here. Bye bye. Please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.